Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to continue on with EIGRP and we're going to purposely mess things up to see what happens in our debugging and see what happens in our routing table. So here we've got our basic two router topology, everything's already set up. EIGRP is working and we could verify that by simply going to let's say router 2 and do a show IP protocols. We've got our information there and we could do show IP route and we have a D route going to router 1. Okay, so everything's set up. We know that everything is in EIGRP autonomous system 1. So let's say we messed up. And this is something you want to do in your practices. You want to purposely mess things up. Here in GNS3, these are virtual routers anyway. So nothing's going to blow up. You're not going to probably damage anything. And we're going to do no router EIGRP1. So that's going to blow away our EIGRP configuration. You could see our neighbors go down. And we could go on router 1. And we could do show IP route. And we our D route is gone from router 2. Minimize the window on router 1. So you're going to do router EIGRP2. So we're purposely making it so it does not match with router 1. No auto. And then we'll do the cheating network way of throwing in all of our interfaces. So network 0000. zero, zero, zero. Exit out. So we've got EIGRP Autonomous System 2 running on router 2. And we can verify that when you do a show IP protocols, EIGRP2. And let's go to router 1. Minimize the window on router 2. Hit the up arrow, show IP route. Don't have any routes in there. Definitely don't have any neighbors. So let's see what happens if we do that debug again. So debug EIGRP packets hello. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're sending a hello on fast zero zero. Okay, so you can see it's some it's kind of interesting here. We're sending a hello on fast zero zero, autonomous system one, and for this router, we're not seeing any hellos coming in. So we're gonna you all to stop that, minimize that. Let's go on router 2, do the same command, so debug EIGRP packets hello. So EIGRP is sending hellos with a different autonomous system, autonomous system 2, receiving and sending hellos on loopback 0, and that's because we haven't done a passive interface on loopback 0. So with this particular debug command, what we're seeing is if the autonomous systems don't match, then when you do the debug ERGP packets hello, with this particular command, you're not going to see the hello information coming from a different autonomous system, which kind of makes sense. Let's see what else we could debug and actually see uh, a problem in the mismatched autonomous system. So let's do a U all to stop that. Let's see, debug ERGP packets. Hello, let's see if there's anything at the end there. We've got hello packets, we've got verbose. Yeah, let's do verbose. could be a, a little bit dangerous, but that's okay. And then you all here. A little bit more information, but I think that we're still not going to see anything from Autonomous System 1. Let's do debug IP packet detail dump. And this is a scary one to do. You definitely don't want to do this in real life. So 
So debug IP packet detail dump gives you, uh, basically it's a sniffer output. So something you would see if you were using Wireshark on this link here. So I'm going to do you all but not hit enter yet. I'm going to wait for something from the source address of 1.1.1.1. Okay, there we go. Okay, as we scroll up here, we've got this one. IP source address is 1.1.1.1, so that came from router 1. Destination 2240010. So you, if you've been studying ERGP, you know that this is the hello packet destination, the multicast hello going to 2240010. Protocol 88 is the EIGP protocol number. And you could see here, if we look down around here, you could see 00001. Okay. And this particular portion of the packet is the autonomous system number, so 00001. As you can see here, this is the one we've been sending out. So source is 1112, so that's router 2. And if we look down in this packet right there, that's autonomous system number 2. So let's see if we could change this up a little bit. Let's go to router 1, do conf t no router ERGP1 and then let's do router ERGP let's see here what would what would 3 look like well let's do router ERGP3 no auto and the cheating way of throwing everything into the network into ERGP alright so that's all fired up We'll go back into router 1, and let's do the same debug, so hit the up arrow, debug IP packet detail dump. And we're going to put in the U all and just wait for something from a source of all ones. And there we go. Okay, so we've got this hello packet coming from all ones, 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. Destination is that multicast address of dot ten, so that's definitely our EIGP hello. And as we look in there, hey, look at that. In hexadecimal three is still three. In hex hex three is still decimal three. So that's our EIGP autonomous system of three. So there's definitely one way of checking to see if you're getting mismatched autonomous system numbers, and this would also explain why your routers are not forming adjacencies. Is there an easier way of doing it? Yeah, you could have just done show run. That's one way. You could have done show IP protocols. You could have also done show IP ERGP. Let's see here. A couple ways you could have done it. Neighbors would be one way. Okay, so this particular command on router 2, you you definitely know that you don't have any neighbors, and this would be sort of the start of your troubleshooting process. Show IP route would also indirectly tell you that you have a problem. So there's definitely different troubleshooting and debugging utilities that you could use to figure out that there's a problem. But this particular one, the command to use that we played around with, pretty pretty informational debug IP packet detail dump okay don't use this in a production router you'll probably crash it or actually you will crash it and uh, you know you just have to start up start over the router again you'd have to kick it over okay well this was a quick and easy video of looking at the hello packets and purposely changing the autonomous system to not match and then looking at the effects through the debug IP packet detail dump command Thanks for watching.